have to solve the triangle ABC and the length should be rounded to three decimal places and angle to one decimal place. Uh, we are given one angle C and the two sides are given as 12 and 25 and we have to work out for small side C. First, so uh, we can use a law of cosines for that. That is the best way, I think. So using the law of cosines, the law of cosines will be cos of 120. It will look like cos of 120 is equal to 12 square plus 25 square minus C square over 2 times 12 times 25. So this is going to be equal to 25 times 2 is 50 and 50 times 12 is 600 and 600 gets multiplied in 120 cos 120 degrees. So this will come out as 600 cosine of 120 degrees is 12 square plus 25 square uh, which is coming as 769 adjusted from my calculator 769 minus c square uh, cos 120 is in quadrant 2 definitely in quadrant 2 cos is negative and that's coming as negative 1 over 2 and this is equal to 769 minus c square so uh, this will become minus 300 is equal to 769 minus c square so the value of c square from here will come out as 769 plus 300 so from here if we uh, if you find the root of C, uh, if you find, if you take square root both sides definitely, so the value of C will come out as 769 plus 300 and the square root of this value is coming as, we have to round to three decimal places remember, so that is 32.696, 32.696 uh, over here and uh, this is coming as, okay the units are not given so we'll also uh, won't write unit. So this is the side C. Now the angle. For the angle we can use the law of sines definitely uh, because the angles in um, we can use law of cosines as well but I prefer to use law of sines in this particular case. So let's use law of sines law law of sines so that will be equal to, uh, uh, we'll take one opposite pair, which is this. So that will be C over, uh, side C over 120 degrees. Side C is 32.696 over sine of 120 degrees is equal to 12 over sine B, let's say, because we have to find all the two angles. So uh, both the angles, so I'm taking this pair. So if you cross multiply sine of b will be equal to 12 12 times sine of 120 12 times sine of 120 over 32.696 so the value of angle b from here comes out as uh, uh, sine of this uh, will come out as 12 over 12 times sine of 120 over this value and sine inverse of this value comes out as 18.5 degrees we have to round to one decimal place so that's 18.5 degrees and the value of angle c for that we are we are not really supposed to use law of cosines once again law of sines once again because we can just use the fact that sum of all the three angles of a triangle is 180 so the value of angle a is 180 minus angle b plus angle c so angle b is coming as 18.5 degrees and angle C is coming as 32.696. Uh, I'm sorry, that is side C, not angle C. Angle C is coming, angle C is given to us as 120 degrees. So let me just grab my calculator and get this value. So this is coming as I'll add 120 to it and 180 minus this value comes out as 41.46. Six degrees so up to one decimal place that will be 41.5 degrees this is the value of angle a thank you